hello guys today we are going to download and install oracle software on windows operating system uh, so first of all we need to download the setup so you can go to the google and type download oracle express edition and go to the oracle.com and you would be able to download this setup just by clicking on it Oracle might ask you uh, to log in. Uh, so in case if it asks, but please uh, create a username, uh, please create an account and you would be able to log in it and download the setup very easily. Uh, you would be able to see the setup size here. Uh, so it is not consuming that much of space. So you should be able to download it based on your speed. It will be done. And uh, then once the I have already downloaded the setup, so once you extract the setup uh, you would be able to see uh, a folder uh, like this uh, with the name oracle xc 213 windows 64 bit and then you would be able to see the setup.exe file just right click on it and run it as an administrator so make sure uh, you are executing like running the setup.exe as an administrator otherwise you will get the error so other steps are very simple you just need to accept the terms uh, click on next uh, here i am going to change the uh, path uh, but you can install in the same directory uh, not a problem and we can click on next and this password is important so make sure if you are uh, if you are setting this password uh, to the complex one uh, then uh, note it and we, we are going to use it uh, for other activities because uh, this is a super user uh, we need this user to perform certain tasks later just click on next next and installation will begin and it will take uh, some time uh, to install the oracle software itself once uh, this installation is done uh, we will check how to connect to the oracle database and uh, check the details like what are the users and other things so i will pause the video we will meet you after the once the installation is done Till I get up, time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't want to waste what's left And we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow Turns the sun rays and on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways and on. In case if we need to connect to the PDB later on, we can connect. And you can directly click on finish and installation is done. Uh, so today we are going to look into how to connect to the database. So we are going to use SQL plus utility to connect to the database. So we will use command prompt and type SQL plus SSDBA. And this is how we are connecting to the database. Uh, there is one more important thing here. Uh, we need to make sure the services related to database are running. So we can go to services.msc and we need to make sure listener listener service 
uh, service.exe these services uh, should be up and running so status of these services should be running otherwise we wouldn't be able to connect to the database so listener and service.exe these are two important services if these services are not running then connection to the database is not possible so that's it for today guys thank you for watching the video have a nice day bye